Greetings, everyone. Welcome to our video about creating layer masks with 3D color masking in Exposure. This process generates a mask using the image luminance, saturation, and hue. We are using Exposure, our award-winning photo editing and organizing application, for the lesson. If you don't already own Exposure, visit our website for a free trial. Color constraints quickly generate detailed color masks. Each constraint can be used individually to create a color mask, or they can all be used together for greater precision. Use the range presets or the eyedropper tool to set values for each constraint. Refine the mask with the handles to include more tones or to feather the selection boundaries. When selecting the hue, modify the color by rotating the wheel. For luminance and saturation, the handles on the top define the boundary. The handles on the bottom refine the feathering edge. With the constraints defined, edits on that layer only apply to the area of the image specified by the mask. The mask thumbnail shows the mask in grayscale. The adjustments will be visible in areas where the mask is white. The selection eyedroppers make choosing exact color regions in the image simple. One bare single click on the image targets a range of values for, in this example, the color hue. Using modifier keys while you click changes the eyedropper behavior. Hold shift while clicking and exposure will add more values to the selected zone as you click. Each click adds a new color to the selection, which produces a wider range of values. The center value of the range is the average of all of the points you set. It will change as you set more points. Then press Escape to finish and close. Hold Alt or Option on Windows to select all three constraint values for the target you select. It's a quick way to set the middle zone for what you'd like to select then move the handles to include more tones. To set both feathering edges simultaneously, hold Shift while dragging the handles. Use Shift also to move all of the handles together in the same arrangement. Masks defined with color constraints can be reused on other images too. You can simply copy and paste layer masks from one image to the next. The boundaries will automatically recalculate for the content of the image it is applied to. If the subject moves to a new position between shots, the same mask can be used on all of them. In this situation, scene lighting revealed unwanted texture on the model's skin in a group of images. Rather than retouch each of them by hand, smoothing effects can be applied to the skin in one image and then duplicated to the others. If needed, the mask for each image can be quickly customized. For example, the brush can be used to refine the mask by removing unwanted areas. 3D color masking is quick and easy, which enables you to do more creative editing in less time. Thanks for watching. Visit our website, exposure.software, for more information about exposure. For updates about our latest videos, subscribe to our channel on YouTube.